Coach, I want to touch on April 22, your last opponent with Raleigh Romero, Tank Davis, taking on uh, the speedy, flashy Ryan Garcia. How do you see things going on fight night? I know one thing, I know that. Ryan is very big and very fast, but in this sport, it's not about the speed, it's not about just the size, it's about the fight in the dog. You know what I mean? It's about the size of the dog. Tank got a mean fight in him, and Tank is a very, is a veteran. He's gonna find a way to trick him, and he's gonna find a way to put him down. You know what I'm saying? Ryan defense is, you know, kind of suspect, and that's the only thing that makes me give it more to Tank than to Ryan. But if Ryan can keep him in distance now, it could be a good fight. And if you go 12 rounds with his points, Ryan can win a punch. What's up, baby? But, but that's the only way he can win his own points. Because Tank, Tank a dog. Tank is a tank. <laughs> Mindset-wise, uh, before we came on camera, you kind of alluded to, maybe you kind of questioned a little bit yeah, of his, Ryan Garcia's mindset yeah. at this point. Talk to us about that. His mental fortitude has, over the years, as you know, he's been on some mental illness stuff and some excuses type of stuff, you know, where guys, like these other guys just been fighting. They've been fighting and fighting and fighting. So you can't take a break from the sport. You know what I'm saying? If you take a break from your job, you get fired. So now you gotta come here and fight one of the baddest motherfuckers at 135. You gotta do it. You gotta prove yourself. But mentally, I really don't think you got it. Do you see any avenue where Ryan Garcia can land that big left hand and inject it into the bout to change the way that Tank Davis does business? It had to be in the first three to four rounds. If you don't get it within the first three to four rounds, it's gonna be hard later on. I might give this fight nine rounds max, nine rounds max. Tell him what's up, baby, tell him what's up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, if you land that left hook early to the body of the head, Tank knows that Ryan is fast and Ryan is strong, but he's also not playing them lightly either. So when a guy has respect for another guy, that really makes a defense better. Devin Haney, Lomachenko, finally signed, uh, looks like May 20 in Las Vegas also. Break that fight down. What do you think about that? I got Devin Haney all day on that fight. He's bigger, he's faster, he's stronger. It's only getting stronger than we have seen before. Um, uh, Lomachenko, he lost his last fight to Ortiz to me. He didn't even deserve the shot, you know what I'm saying? So uh, Virgil, uh, Jermaine Ortiz, I'm sorry, Jermaine Ortiz beat him, and they gave him the fight to Devin Haney versus Loma for a money grab, for, for money. That's not good for the sport of boxing, but because Jermaine Ortiz didn't argue the point or even you know, say anything bad about it, he just took his L and, and walked away. But I told him when I saw him, I said, man, you know you won that fight. But they want to make those big fights, even though Loma lost. And that's not fair. That's not good for boxing. A lot better fighter than people give him credit for. Shakur is a much better conditioned fighter than people give him credit for. I was watching him in camp, this last camp at top rank, and I got bigger respect for him. Shakur gone. I boxed that boy. And if that boy gets out, Shakur going to knock him out. So who's the best out of Shakur, Tank, and Devin, in your estimation? It's hard because of Styles. Styles make fights, and then when it comes to weight cut, it depends on who rehydrates better and have more energy and more substance in their body to perform the next day. So if you get a, a, a pumped up, well hydrated, rehydrated Tank, rehydrated Devin, you never know. See, boxing is things about boxing that people don't look at. You know what I'm saying? So. They're all three of them guys is great, you know what I'm saying? Like even with, not to bring it Roly, but the weight cut was tough for Roly against his tank. That's what we went up to 140. Three fights ago, we were supposed to be at 40. But we had the opportunity and we took it. But out of three, I think the one that's really, really gonna do the best work in the long run, because he's such a dog, honestly, is Tank. You know what I'm saying? Um, Skill-wise, Devin and Shakur to me is kind of like neck to neck. But when it comes to that dog mode and tapping into into that kill mode, tank. But boy, let me tell you something. That division, you guys know, it's the best division in boxing. So it can go either way. It can be like the the, the, the triangle with you know uh, Bernard Hopkins. No, not Bernard. Sorry, 
the lawyer and um the what, 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 what's the other guy? Trinidad. Trinidad and the other one. That guy, black guy. Every time I come to this shit, I can forget his name. Vernon Force. Vernon Force, right. Rest in peace. God rest his soul. You know what I'm saying? So, it's be something like that. Especially the 135 division. So, right now, I gotta go tank. Okay. We talk about boxing and there's usually two fights. There's the first fight, the first battle of the fighters to make weight. Ryan Garcia up against the tough, trying to come down and make 136 pounds with a 10 pound rehydration clause. What do you make of the rehydration clause that he signed up for versus Tank Davis? Is that too much for him to overcome versus such a skilled opponent? Yes, he should have never did that. I don't care about the money, I don't care about the belt, you should never do that. You gotta be sparring that Ryan, you gotta like, and then you find a 136. The belt is at 135. This is a pound for pound sport. You shouldn't be fighting 36 in the first place. If you can't make 35, go to 40. You're a big guy, go to 40. You say Tank can make 35. Tank can make 30 again. You weigh 133 against us. He can make 30. You know I'm saying you guys have to understand you cannot give up so much weapons. And with the body rehydrating, the white blood cells, getting the energy back, that shit takes a lot. So do you think that with the rehydration cause, Ryan may be more susceptible to tanks, big punches, the and brain, might go out a little his early? His brain is going to be dry, drier than normal, because he can't fully hydrate, rehydrate. So with that being said, once you get clipped, it's over. It ain't even got to be a big punch. You know what I'm saying? What as good as tank is, coach, quite frankly, was that overkill? Did he need to put a rehydration clause in your estimation? No. no. What do you make of that? I, I just think that that's a smart, tactical thing that they did on their part, but a dumb decision on Ryan's part. That was, that's, that's, that's having the game. That's, that's the little tricks of the game. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think it should be legal. Definitely with Coach Bullock. Thank you for your time. Already, Marcus man. Hayes, Fight Hub TV. With the one and only Coach Bullet Coach, thank you, man, and good luck on the 13th. May 13th, WA World Champions, baby. Already.